let's start with the EDA part. Let's name this section as EDA with a markdown cell. Let's create out some new empty cells. And as you know that uh, two functions are something which I usually do before applying or doing any other further in, uh, finding any other further insights. Okay, so the first one is info. So let's find out salary info. Okay, here will be uh, what? Hmm. So we can know the data type and we can check how many null values it is having. So we can see that in total we have 32,561. Okay, this is the range of the index. So we are having uh, uh, 32,561 entries and in occupation, uh, there are empty values. Work class also, there's an empty value. Uh, country is also having an empty value. So at, as of now, we don't uh, need the country because uh, the complete data set is based on United States only. So uh, we are not going to use it, but we need to do something about occupation. Occupation is something which will highly affect our model and which will help us predict out the target okay okay so the first thing which i will do is drop out all the empty columns that i have in this yeah so let's start by dropping out occupation so for that we have the drop na function so let's try out salary dot drop na Inside of this, I will just pass subset and write occupation, occupation, let's run this, I have 37, okay, this looks great, and put in place is equal to true. Let's check salary.info again, salary.info, okay, so now all the columns, all the rows are having the exact value except for country so country that's fine uh, it doesn't really matter much because the data set is completely for the united states now the next next function if you could just recall from the other lectures the next function that i use is describe it gives me a lot of information about the data set so uh, age this is something fn lwgt education number the number of educations education uh, cap capital loss, capital gain, and hours per week. Okay, it the describe function shows me only for the integer value. So as you can see, age is an integer value. Uh, this is also an integer value. Again, we have education number as an integer, integer value. So uh, the describe function shows me everything about uh, the features which are of integer format. So age is just fine. FNWGT is something which we are going to look into if this will be useful or not. Then we have education number, which yes, it will be useful. If you see the variation of data is good. Minimum is one and the maximum is 16 and 25, 50, 75. It's properly distributed. Capital gain and capital loss is not much useful. Okay, Hours per week, hours per week might also be useful. So we are going to look, okay. We are going to change the might from our questions to should. Okay, so we are going to do a bit more insight on uh, go to, uh, and find bit more insights on this. So the first thing which I'm going to do is evaluate the data set. Okay, so the first thing that I told you will uh, look into if LN uh, LWGT is really useful or not. FN LWGT. Okay, so salary. I'm going to check how many unique values we have over there. So FN LWGT dot and I'm going to do an unique, how many unique variables I have. So out of 30,000, 20,000 unique values we have. So this is not really useful. Also, we will uh, plot out a heat map for this. So we will get a better picture about this, but I'm pretty sure this is not useful in our prediction. Okay, now let's uh, evaluate our data much more. So let's look into salary dot head. Hmm. Let's look into how much uh, distribution is of race to target and gender to target. Okay, for this, what I will do is I will group by, I will use group by. So salary 
dot group by and then inside of it i'm going to pass race comma and let's pass target and then dot size hmm. and the same thing i'm going to do it for gender okay so for this you can see that uh out okay and one more thing that i will do over here is salary and pass race and look into the value counts dot value counts same thing i'm going to do it for the gender part Hmm. So let's uh, look into the salary part. Salary compared with uh, the race. Okay, what kind of race the person belongs to? So in our data set, there are uh, twenty six thousand points are for white people, uh, three almost three thousand for black people, and nine seventy four for Asian Pacific, and then we have American Indian Eskimos, and then some are others. Okay, now we are going to look into how it is. Uh, compared to the target one okay. so race uh, ami amer indian eskimo so 252 people have less than 50k okay 34 have more than 50k nice same thing black we can look into other white also we can look it into so as this is an yeah uh, this is for united states and it's just a part a 0 0.1 fraction of uh, people so I think the survey was the data is mostly biased on the white people okay that doesn't really matter as of now so less than 50k uh, less than 50k salary uh, 19,000 people have less than 15k 50k salary and 7,000 almost 7,000 people have more than 50k that's nice now let's look into the number of uh, gender so in our data set out of 30,000, 20,000 uh, points are for male people and 10,000 are for female, almost 10,000 for female. Okay. And if you group by with the target, we can just look into that less than 50K, uh, okay, people, 8,000, 800 people are uh, female, female people are earning less than 50K and more than 1,100 people are earning more than 50K who are female. Same thing we can check it out for mail. So these are some of the good insights we have got. Now let's plot. Okay. The first thing is SNS dot pair plot. Okay. Pair plot and pass my salary. Let's wait for a while. It takes a uh, few minutes depend upon your system and also depend upon how many columns and data points you are having so it takes all the values and plots uh, plot it out you can also get the distribution age with age these are the distributions okay of the data set and you can see that capital gain and capital loss okay see capital gain and capital loss these two distribution the data is highly uh, based on some place in the starting so we don't really need these data points okay age is something we are concerned of education number is also see it's nicely uh, just distributed we can use this off okay so that's a good call now let's uh, plot out some histograms and let's plot out also the count plots okay so for the features which are having object data type or string values i will create and value counts okay i will just plot out using their value counts what we have done over here i'll just plot it out and for integers i will plot an histogram so let's jump into a next video and look into how to do that